John here guys and today we're talking about RC cars. Do you remember X mods? I juice my motor too. Yeah, I heard. You wanna run them? Let's do it. New X Mods Evolution Custom RCs with more customizing options, improved chassis for better performance. That's right, those awesome little cars from Radio Shack from the early 2000s, around the same time as Animaniacs. It's time for Animaniacs. Uh, and when the Warners were running around the Warner movie lot, you could have walked into a brick and mortar, now extinct Radio Shack store and picked yourself up one of these. Now, X Mods was a complete Game changer. Let's pop the top off. As you can see here, this is a small RC car that had a complete suspension. I mean, look at these little wishbone, dog bone things. It's got, you know, knuckles in the front. It's got fully independent suspension in the rear. A little brushed motor right there, and it ran off of four AAA batteries and came with the transmitter and I believe it was all for under a hundred bucks. This is a version two that's actually came later in the 2000s uh, coinciding with the Transformers movie release, the original Transformers. And these things were absolutely a game changer because as an RC guy, you know, I was into RC way before FPV and I had a couple of nitro powered cars. I had an HPI RS4 II with a two speed transmission that ran on nitro fuel in second gear. It would get up to about 42 miles an hour and I couldn't fathom any other RC vehicle that could go that fast. Who knew, who would have known, you know, 10 or 12 years later that we would be able to see speeds of over 100 miles an hour flying FPV drones. But back then, um, I always dreamed of being able to have that RC control indoors or on your street without needing that nitro fuel. And when you would go to the hobby shops to buy your nitro fuel, you would see those Kyosho cars that were about the same size. They looked sort of like this. But those things were like $300. Good Lord. That was the price of a PlayStation 2 console back then. And there was no way I was going to spend that much money on a single little RC car. And I don't even know if that included the transmitter or not. I would just go and look at them and just stare longingly. And then Radio Shack came out with Xmods and solved everything. I had so much fun with this little car back then. Um, you can see there's a couple of loose wires that have corroded because um, I did some of my own modifications on here. I cut the power wires and which allowed me to wire in a fifth cell. <laughs> this was running five uh, batteries and I would run a fifth one. The other thing I did was I took the motor out and I swapped in a motor from an electric toothbrush. That gave a lot of extra speed. So X Mods was an absolute game changer, but this year, straight from China, came something even better at a price point that you absolutely cannot even fathom. WL Toys. Uh, is a brand that I've seen on Banggood for a while and they make this series of little car. You can have cars and little tiny trucks. I believe they're the one, whatever size. They're a, a basically the same size as an x So You can see how close in size they are right there. Now this has a traditional RC car canopy that comes off. Uh, and it's held on with those little slide pins. And check this thing out. This is even higher quality than an X Mods. It has like your soft foam bumper at the front that you would see in a, you know, in a full size car <laughs> with nitro. It has an aluminum top and bottom plate frames, comes with this really surprisingly nice transmitter. Um, 
and it comes with this little 2S battery. This two cell battery is a 400 milliamp uh, 20C and it has a JST connector on it. Now in order to charge that, it comes with this little charger, but mine came with a European plug. So I'm not really sure what to do with that. I'm not gonna use this anyway, since I have my own hobby grade charger. Now, what I could do is swap this connector for an XT30, but since I have a bunch of toothpick class 2S batteries like this Tattoo 300 milliamp uh, battery right here, that's gonna do me more than fine. Um, even with this 300, it's a little bit less capacity, but it's a much higher quality battery. It's a higher C and it has an XT30 so I can go straight into my hobby charger. Now, uh, <laughs> this thing has fully rubber tires that can come off, the wheels can come off. The suspension is outstanding. It is four wheel drive. Uh, the front suspension is great too. Look, I left this, uh, I have, put this thing through some really hard crashes you see this wobble but the the little bottom knuckle thing just came out and it's just a ball joint so if i just apply some pressure pop back in good as new outstanding guys i cannot believe that this thing even exists for a price under $50. That's right, it's about $45. I've seen it as low as 42. So link in the description below, definitely buy it. Now let's get to some footage of this thing driving around. But you're, this channel is Johnny5 FPV. Why do you have an RC car on there just to drive it around and get GoPro footage? Well, stay tuned because in the next video, we are gonna be equipping this thing with FPV. I am going to show you step by step how to wire up this AKK video transmitter and this Runcan Robin micro camera together have it fully powered with very minimal soldering. I think we're only going to have to solder about four or five wires on this. Very clean. I'm gonna cut a little hole out of the windshield so that we can see just like we're inside the car. It's going to be amazing. And because this has a better suspension than the last RC car that we showed on the channel, you should be able to get it reasonably smooth enough you know, to have fun, FPB footage. I'm gonna be driving this up and down my street like a madman. And that is another key of why I chose to go with this 300 milliamp battery. Now driving it without the FPV system, I could still get like 10 minutes of driving. And for those of us that are familiar with flying quads, 10 minutes is a long ass time. A long time, excuse me. Uh, but <laughs> So I'm gonna have some weight savings there uh, and that weight is gonna go to this FPV system. Can't wait guys, it's gonna be outstanding. So stay tuned for next week's video, or maybe the week after where I show you how to do that. And let's check out how this thing just performs out on the street. Thanks guys.